Music has an extraordinary power to move people. It can give them a voice. It can give them a chance to express themselves. It can be a release of emotion and a connection with other people. I remember the first day Rosie came in. She had the kind of musical look about her that gave us confidence in what she was doing. I thought you were brilliant out there. Really, really impressive. I know, still got a lot of work to do, I think. I think musicians seek perfection in their playing. I'm a rank and file, but she was a solo player. She was a numbered position. And uh, th there's the difference. How are you thinking about the future? I feel like you could literally go anywhere and do anything. <laughs> I remember watching her across the pit that evening. She looked unafraid, confident. There's nothing like it. She had everything ahead of her. She was traveling to an out of town gig. I wasn't involved in that one. After the accident, I remember the orchestra felt broken. That lasted a long while. Music is very important as a language to express things that perhaps we cannot say with words. And I'm passionate about finding new vocabularies, new sounds, new ways to make music. I had this, this thought. Imagine, just imagine if it would be possible to read information from your brain to compose music. That somebody can no longer move their body, can no longer play a musical instrument. Imagine if you could design something to reconnect this person with music. When I met Rosie, there was something that clicked. I knew that she was a musician. I knew that she would understand. The system is reading Rosie's brainwaves. She makes a selection, and the violin player plays those phrases. That moment it was magical. I, I, I cannot describe it. It was a dream I had, and a dream that seemed impossible. You know, it took 20 years, it would not have been achieved if I had not the chance to work with Rosie.
the idea of playing with Rosie again after so many years was something I never imagined would be possible. <laughs>